The Nokia 8V 5G UW is one of the biggest phones in the market. The design is nice enough and it's comfortable in hands. You can also see a headphone jack. There's Google Assistant button on the left side of the phone that can summon the virtual assistant. The power button contains the phone's fingerprint sensor. HMD placed a single speaker on the bottom of the phone. It's really easy to cover the speaker up with your hand when you are holding the phone in a landscape orientation, like when you are playing a game and that can muffle the audio. This phone has a massive 6.81 inch FHD display. The screen size is very immersive whether you are playing games or watching video. It's an LCD panel but everything looks fine in scenes that are bright. On the rear you will find a quad camera setup. It features a 64 megapixel main camera and a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle shooter with a 120 degree field of view. Both the main and ultra wide shooters support super night mode for low light photography. There's also a 2 megapixel macro lens and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. The color in the Nokia photo is fairly rich. Detail is solid with the main camera but it often increases the contrast way too high and produces inaccurate colors. The ultra wide lens is good too. It delivers pictures with rich color and good dynamic range. The macro lens does a pretty good job picking up tiny details with great color. You can record 4K video at 60fps and the video quality is pretty good. On the front you will find a single 24 megapixel camera for selfie duties and it delivers good quality selfies. Nokia 8V 5G UW offers Snapdragon 765G chipset. The Snapdragon 765G isn't Qualcomm's most powerful chip, but it can handle most of the things smartphone users throw at it, and it's got an integrated X52 5G modem. It's also not as expensive as the Snapdragon 865 in the leading Android flagships, which means phone makers can keep the cost down. You can play most games without any lag or stutter. For day-to-day -day use, there won't be any problem executing some hardcore applications. HMD Global adds 6GB of RAM to help out the Snapdragon 765G but only equips the phone with a 64GB of storage. You can add some extra storage up to 1TB via a microSD card. HMD Global calls this phone Android 11 ready which is a nicer way of saying that the older Android 10 comes pre-installed on this phone. This device comes with 4500mAh battery with 18W fast charging support. The Nokia X20 feels pretty big mainly because of its large screen. It has a plastic body, the rear camera has a circular camera bump. There's a side mounted fingerprint scanner embedded in the power button on the right edge and the volume rocker just above it. The phone also has a USB-C port and 3.5mm headphone jack and on the left edge there's a Google Assistant button. If you are looking for a big screen phone this could be a good device. It's a 6.67 inch IPS LCD panel with a 60Hz refresh rate. The screen looks pretty good for its price. There are 4 rear cameras on the Nokia X20. They are 64MP main camera, 5MP ultra wide, 2MP depth sensing and a 2MP macro snapper. There's also a 32MP front camera. Photos taken with this device is good and sharp. The dynamic range is not that bad either. Selfies look better. The portrait mode have some issues with edge detection. Video recording goes up to 1080p at 60fps. There's a cinema mode too. The battery here has a 4470mAh capacity which is a fair size for a phone at this price point. It comes with 18W fast charge support. The big issue with the Nokia X20 is its processor. It comes with the low end Snapdragon 480 chipset. For day to day use it does get the job done. So this isn't a phone for mobile games or people who will need lots of power for anything. It comes with a 6.81 inch Full HD Plus screen with an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. That means the phone's screen is longer than most handsets. The design is similar to what we have seen from HMD Global's Nokia handsets in previous years with a metal edge and Gorilla Glass on the rear of the phone. It comes with a refracted light design that gives it a unique look rather than just a solid color. The fingerprint sensor is housed within the power button that sits on the side of the handset allowing you to turn the phone on and unlock it with one press. 5G is the biggest feature here and this is the first 5G enabled phone from the company. There isn't a top end chipset inside this phone and instead HMD Global is using Qualcomm Snapdragon 765 chipset inside here. That allows for 5G connectivity but will not provide as impressive processing 
as phones that use the flagship Snapdragon 865. You will have the choice of either 6GB of RAM with 64GB of storage or 8GB of RAM with 128GB of storage. The rear camera on this device comes with a 64MP main camera as well as a 12MP ultrawide with an aperture of 2.2. There is also a 2MP depth sensor working alongside a 2MP macro camera. On the front of the phone, there is a 24MP selfie shooter. There is a new mode included called Action Cam Mode that is specifically designed to capture smooth video. It uses a higher frame rate than 60fps to improve the footage for fast moving subjects. The Nokia 8.3 5G is also capable of filming in 4K too. Pictures are sharp and vibrant, overall the photo quality is great and delivers good dynamic range. There is a 4500 mAh cell inside the phone with 18W fast charging support. That's quite large for a handset like this. Nokia is using a 6.39 inches HD IPS LCD display. This particular display panel provides exceptional viewing angles and colors. However, Nokia could have used an FHD display like its market competitors. At the core of the Nokia 5.4 smartphone lies the integrated Snapdragon 662 chipset, which outperforms all of its predecessor. The 662 performed decently when it comes to handling everyday tasks. In addition, the Adreno 610 GPU ensures no problems when playing all casual games as well as titles like PUBG Mobile Lite in medium configurations. Speaking of software, the Nokia 5.4 remains part of the Android 10, which is the main selling point of Nokia phones. The interface looks as an absolute Android stock, without ads or bloatware. Also, Nokia always makes sure of timely updates and security patches. As for RAM, you can buy 4GB or 6GB version depending on the type of use. On the other hand, the phone offers two options for internal storage, 64GB or 128GB. With the stock Android, RAM management is perfect. As for the camera setup, this device comes with a quad rear camera setup. The main 48MP snapper is now supported by three more auxiliary sensors. An ultra-wide 5MP sensor allows you to absorb more things in a frame. In addition, there are two 2MP sensors for both macro and depth purposes. Subjects appear sharp and vibrant as long as there is plenty of light available. Equipped with a light mode and LED flash, the device improves photos in low light, increasing brightness and clarity using exclusive post-processing methods. For videos, you can go up to 4K, which looks crystal clear but there is no room for any stabilization. The 16MP selfie camera takes impressive portraits with excellent blurred backgrounds. But in low light, there is a slight drop in quality and the photos look noisy and smooth. It comes with a 4000mAh battery that will last a day easily. Supplied with a 10 watt regular charger, battery refilling may not be fast enough and takes at least 2 hours to fully charge. HMD Global has been keen to maintain the brand's reputation for solid dependable designs. The Nokia G50 certainly continued the trend. It's a very well-built device for the money with a metal frame and a pleasingly soft touch and gently carved plastic rear cover. The power button, which also houses a speedy and reliable fingerprint sensor, has been positioned halfway up the right edge of the device and the volume rocker above it. There's also a 3.5mm headphone jack. The Nokia G50's display is absolutely huge by almost any standard. It's a 6.82 inch IPS LCD panel. Overall, the display quality is good enough for day to day use. The Nokia G50 packs in a triple camera system. This system is led by a respectable 48 megapixel wide sensor with an 1.8 aperture, a 5 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel depth camera. Selfie duty is handled by an 8 megapixel front facing camera positioned in the teardrop notch. Image quality from the 48 megapixel main sensor is solid. With pixel binning technique, it captures crisp, bright 12 megapixel shots. Overall, the snaps look relatively natural. If you take the Nokia G50 into the darker light condition, it starts to show its limitation. Even well lit indoor shots contain a fair amount of grain. In night mode, shots lack detail. The ultra wide lens provides decent image considering the price segment. Selfies don't look too sharp at all. This camera system is fine for the basic photography needs. The Nokia G50 runs on Snapdragon 485G. It's a budget 5G chip that is okay for day-to-day -day use but not for heavy workload. 
Battery life is the Nokia G50's key weapon. It packs a large 5000mAh cell. Together with the phone's low-res display and low power processor, you can use it for two straight days. It comes with 18W fast charge support.